I'm That's training for Aquaman 6. You know, when Jason Momoa, you get too old, it's my turn. What's up, y'all? It's Rome Flynn. I am here in Los Angeles at Academy USA, and today I'm gonna take you through what my daily workouts are like as I prepare for a role. Sometimes I don't play characters that have an athletic component to them, but you know, for fantasy football, it was really important that I stayed in shape and, and tried to emulate what a star running back looked like, so I had to do a lot of work on the field, and today I'm gonna show you some workouts that I would use uh, weight training-wise to prepare for that. I got my, um, you know, NBA trainer extraordinaire, Olin, AKA, you know, big guard whisperer. Train guys like Kevin Durant, um, me. The biggest know. guard of all. <laughs> we do the warm up with the bands, you know, and uh, we do some court work and then we transition to uh, where we work out at and do weightlifting to strengthen the body so we can be stronger, for I can be stronger. You know, I'm trying to dunk again. So it, That's one of my goal. goals, one That's of my goals. That's a big goal. That's a big goal. <laughs> Basically, the first thing we like to do with our athletes is make sure we get the glutes fired up, warm them hips up. It's pretty important um, when, when you get prepared for a rigorous workout. So we use, utilize the mini band for tension on the hips and to kill two birds with one stone because we are doing a basketball workout. We add the two balls just to get some ball handling in there. It's two heavy balls, by the way, three pound heavy balls. And we typically go baseline a half court twice in multiple variations. So we do a side, a lateral, then we do a forward one, and then we do a backwards one. All right, so this is still part of uh, the workout that we began with today. Um, it's just rip throughs over the top. One of the biggest thing in any sports you play, we want to be able to increase our first step. And a lot of times guys play inside their hips. We want to play outside our hips, create our first step from here. So typically after we do our band work and our warm up season is when we start doing the court, the skill stuff. So we're gonna work on some layups, some finishing, some ball handling into that, and then some shooting. Because at his size, he has to have different finishes around the basket, playing against longer defenders, and then shooting is at a premium. If you can't shoot the ball, you can't play basketball today. So he's already a really good shooter. We're just trying to add to it. We're not dummying this down because he's an actor. This is what we do with all our pro guys. We have 30 NBA clients and everything that they do, he does. So he's really doing a really good workout at the highest level. As you can see, this is not prop sweat. This is real work. If I ring this out, it'd be a puddle right here. Typically by now, he'd be on his fourth shirt. Yeah, I ain't changed shirt. shirts today. <laughs> this is where we attack our fitness side of the workout. After leaving the court on strenuous days like this, we tend to focus on more injury preventative situations because today a lot of guys are having ACL and non-contact injuries. So, you know, we want to make sure that we keep him away from that. So today we're going to put him through a reverse walk, which work on strengthening the knee. Right now we're about to do a goblet squat on the slant board. Once again, the slant allows him to go into a deeper squat position, which is helping him strengthen the knee, the knee joint. We're just gonna incorporate a split lunge. We've done a lot of two leg stuff on the basketball court. So right now we're just gonna do a, a stabilization, a hold the lunge into just a curl shoulder press. Basically just a total upper body workout while we just hold it, stabilize it in that lunge position. We typically like to finish our workouts doing some core stuff. So this allows us to do some hanging leg raise with a resistant band attached to his, to his ankle. So as he drives his knee up, we get a little bit more resistance during the low abs, but it's a total, total core workout. With, with core stuff like this, I like to do a high rep count, 12 to 15, but if we get in that 15 area and he's just feeling the burn, I'll tell him keep pushing. You keep pushing what now? Keep pushing. We're gonna edit that out. We're gonna stop it for 12 or 15? <laughs> no, we're gonna do 1,500 of these. 1,500? Um, I'm training for Aquaman 6. You know, when Jason Momoa, you get too old, it's my turn. This is, this is it. This is what we call the finisher. End of the workout, if he got energy, any energy left, we tend to come over here to battle. It's a total body workout. 
arms, core, shoulders, back, legs, everything's involved. And it's just a great head to toe um, finisher. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Look, I want to remind everybody that your own fitness journey is your own journey. Appreciate y'all hanging out with me. I'm out of breath. It's not fake. I really put the work in today. Thank y'all for hanging out.